What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Freestyle Gospel, a.k.a. The Real Free, with Free Lunch Podcast. Again, another episode. It's the Free Lunch Podcast with The Real Free. And my special guest, my awesome son today, Xavier. Say Hello. hi, Xavier. Okay. Um, so I just want us to talk about uh, briefly a, a, a couple uh, quick things. And Xavier, he has no idea what we're going to talk about. Um, so this is going to be the first time he actually hears what we're going to talk about. And this is his first time ever being on Free Lunch with The Real Free. So... Um, like I said, my son is Xavier. Uh, he's nine years old. And Xavier, uh, tell everybody, what grade are you in? Fourth grade. Fourth grade. And we've been enjoying our time uh, here locked down at home uh, during the uh, recent school closures due to the coronavirus. And we're going to make the best of it. So um, I wanted to share with all our fans out there, people watching, an interesting fact that many people don't know about. And um, maybe even Xavier, because it was a few years ago, um, about five or four, four years ago now. Um, but a lot of people don't know that Xavier here actually ruined my proposal when I proposed <laughs> to my wife. So do you remember? Do you remember when I got down on one knee and I had this beautiful ring in a box and I went to propose and ask uh, uh, your mom to marry me? No, I don't remember. You don't remember that? No! Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> so what happened was we were at this ice cream shop and uh, called Rita's. They have excellent um, ice cream there. Mm -hmm. And I had this really, really awesome speech ready. I had a really great speech that I had prepared in my mind that I was going to like say to, to mom when I proposed to her okay. and the uh, ring was awesome. The moment was awesome. You know, it was a beautiful day outside. Yeah. And as soon as I got down on one knee and I opened the box, Xavier here looked at the ring and he goes, wow, that's pretty. And ran up to the box and snatched the ring out of the box. And instantly I forgot all of my awesome words in my speech that I was going to say. I did I didn't... I don't remember going up, snatching the ring okay. out. But it it's true. You actually did, though. You took the ring, and then I had to get it back from you and put it back in the box and kind of start all over. But by then, I completely forgot my speech. Oh. Well, sorry for doing that. <laughs> sorry for doing that. Well, so, um, I don't know about you guys. I know many of you guys are also home from school, and uh, many are home from work. But... Xavier has had a nice, well-planned out packet of work that you had to do from school, right? Yep. So, I mean, well, first of all, do you, I mean, how do you how do you feel about being home from school? Um, I mean, do you, would you rather be at school right now? Uh, I would rather be at home. Oh, so you so you enjoy doing the the schoolwork at home? Yes. You, you you prefer it that way? Okay, that's pretty cool. Um. I mean, what do you think is the 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 most work that we should do at home? I mean, um, like, do you think we should have a full day, like, at school of, like, a whole bunch of schoolwork mm, at home? Or do you think we should just do, like, a tiny bit of schoolwork at home? Like, a tiny bit of schoolwork so we won't waste up all, a bunch of time? Well, how else are you going to spend your time? Mm, I mean... Maybe, if, maybe, like, taking a break from work. Like, do some work and then take a break. Okay, uh, I mean, but if we, if we didn't have a full days of work, how how would you spend the rest of your day? Mm. If you didn't have a bunch of schoolwork to do, feel like miserable, probably. No, like how would you use your free time if you're not doing schoolwork? You wouldn't just be sitting around miserable. What would you be doing if you're not doing schoolwork? I would be playing around with my Legos. Playing around with your Legos. That's right. Yep. Why don't you tell tell the fans some of the amazing things you've built with your Legos? Like fire trucks, garbage trucks, truck, drugs, buildings, firehouses, like a bunch of stuff with my Legos. What's probably the best thing you enjoy building with Legos? Basically fire trucks. Fire trucks. <laughs> if you could have only one set of Legos, what would it probably be? 
a, fu- a Lego firefighter set, uh, obviously. A, a Lego firefighter set. Yup. This guy loves, <laughs> absolutely loves Legos. Um, now, do you think, I mean, well, first of all, I, I don't know how much kids at your school or any kids all over the country or the world, how much they know about what's the problem that's going on in the, in the country right now. Uh, and I guess Xavier is extremely exhausted. Uh, did, did you just get off of work? <laughs> He's yawning quite a bit right now. Um, th- but <laughs> yeah, I get off of work early. I don't have a but job. You're yawn- but you're yawning like crazy. Um, well, do you even know what's happening though? Like why s- schools are shut down right now? Nope. Oh, you don't have any idea why? Nope. Okay. All I know. Um, so you haven't. I, I mean, you haven't heard mom or dad around the house talking about what's going on. I mean, we don't really try to give it too much of our mind attention um more than what's necessary at least but mm. I, have you heard of this thing called the coronavirus uh no only mom told me about the face thing but i never heard of it like what does it do like I, what face thing well what is, what is this face thing like staying out of my face so oh staying keeping your hands out your face so you don't get germs and stuff yeah but yeah Mom only told me about it's getting, only getting people in the hospital, and yeah. that's all I know. Okay, so it's a pretty serious, you know, thing, coronavirus. I mean, it's, um, you know, serious like many other uh, viruses that you could catch. You know, you could catch a flu virus or, and you know, those things can make you really sick and go to the hospital, and we don't want to get sick. But nope. it's, it's a lot of people who are, are getting it, and we're, we're trying to stop the spread of other kids and, you know, teachers and you know people getting it so they close schools down ah. so to try to keep people from catching it okay I, do, you, do you think that's a good idea uh no because how are we gonna learn because well you we've been learning at we've been learning at home oh yeah this... yeah i mean so do you think it's a good good idea that they close school down and yeah, have everybody, everybody learn at home yeah because we don't want everyone like in the whole entire school to get sick we don't. We don't. How long do you think school should be closed? Um, until, until the coronavirus, until the coronavirus goes away. Well, how long do you think that'll be? Um, not, good question. I mean, would you like if school never returned again and you just um, kept going to school from home and we just kept, you know, you and me at the laptop and... Doing well, math lessons and stuff. Well, what if we run out of work? Like, well, we'll never run out of work. I mean, there's there's work that we can find on the internet mm, forever, there is. And ever. Yeah, I mean, but but I would not want to be working on my Chromebook forever and ever. So you so you do like school? Yeah, I like school. Okay, what well, what's but, what's probably the the thing you miss most about being at school? My teachers. That's one of my teacher. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Who's your favorite teacher at school? Miss mm, Devaney. Yeah. And what makes Miss Devaney so special? That we get to learn so much with her. Oh, uh, do you get to learn a lot with me? <laughs> so what makes Miss Devaney special when you learn with her? I mean, does she like teach a certain way? Does she sound a certain way? She like... teaches both. Both what? She teaches. Explain it like does she like is, does she have a really soft, nice voice like an angel, and that's what you, that's what you like about it. Yes. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. I had one of those teachers once, <laughs> first grade, Miss Baco. Oh yeah. <laughs> Your for, <laughs> you know first what I'm grade. talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> first grade class. <laughs> that, first grade class. Yeah. First grade, man. Do you remember who your first grade teacher was? No. No, exactly. She, I, she, I bet you she wasn't awesome like probably Miss Davini. Yeah, like I don't remember uh, but anything. I, uh, but I bet you'll remember Miss Davini. Yes. For a long, long time. Yep. Yeah. Yes. I bet Miss Davini doesn't teach better than mom. <laughs> really? Does Miss Davini teach better than mom? Probably. Probably. You know, <laughs> there's another funny thing about Xavier. This is, you know, and I absolutely love my son. But. Xavier has this thing where he's like, and you know, I'm a mama's boy. Xavier's a mama's boy. Like, <laughs> that just means that we love our moms, right? Yep. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yep. There's nothing wrong, right? No. Nope. Exactly. Okay, but 
So, in our house, Xavier, for some reason, mom is, like, so high, like, on the scale. Which is, you know, inherently I have no problem with that. Uh, but it, it, like, got to the point that, like, Xavier believes that moms don't poop. Really? Mom, Why would you say that? Why would moms, you say that? Hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out. Moms poot, okay? <laughs> if you're a kid out there right now in, in TV land watching this, no, I don't care how awesome your mom is. And <laughs> my mom is awesome. I love my mom. Power to moms. But moms poop. Xavier thinks <laughs> only dads poop, okay? I, why so, would... Oh, so, okay. <laughs> Hang on. Well, like... Hang on. I'm going to give you your shot, okay? <laughs> but for some reason, Xavier thinks every time someone passes gas in the household, <laughs> he blames it on me. Like, it's automatically dad. It's what? either... Oh, uh, no. It's dad or the dog. We have a, a pit bull, our dog named Chance. Yup. He blames either me or Chance. And I just don't think that's fair. I mean, I want you in on camera. I want you to admit to all the people on TV land that you, <laughs> I want you to admit. Ma- I did not <laughs> Listen, say that. Time out, time out. I want you to admit for everyone on, in TV land. Say, I, Xavier, admit that moms do poop. <laughs> Sit up, dude. I want you to confess. Okay, let me just get my laugh out of Okay. Here. <laughs> Confess. I'm right. trying to get a confession. <laughs> Fine. I'm trying to get... I admit that mom is poo. Mom's... Now stop. Oh, oh, that... I, I, maybe because you were laughing too hard, you didn't say your words clearly. And I want the words to sound clearly coming from your mouth. <sighs> I, fine, to, wait, fine, fine. I want you to fine. say, I admit that mom's pooped. Uh, I admit that moms all over the country poop. Obviously, they do. That's it's settled, and I don't. I don't have any other argument. <coughs> Thank you, good man. I appreciate that. You're an honest man. Now, why would you say that? <laughs> now, why would you say that to all the No. Why would is, you say that? About, now, the problem we're gonna have is mom is probably gonna watch this video later and see the podcast and probably be upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be upset at you. She's no, gonna be upset at you. No, no, no. She's gonna be upset at Xavier. No, 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 no. I don't want you. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, besides, I don't want you screaming too loud because we don't want mom to hear us outside no, the studio. No, no, All right? no, no. All right, listen. No. All right. Okay, okay. So we'll move on to the next subject. Fine. Okay, move on to the next subject. I'm gonna get my confession. Okay, so let's move on to the next subject. Um, so we were talking about school, right? And, uh, us trying to manage, um, at home with the coronavirus thing happening. And, um, so, I mean, at at home, besides doing schoolwork, we also have, I mean, we're, we're lucky because we have things like TV and internet stuff that, you know, games we could play to keep us you know, from being bored. Yep. Right? Yep, we got all that stuff. Um, what, are, what are some movies that we've been watching? Maybe you could share with the we, our fans well, what's, what's some of the movies we've been watching. Well, we've been, well, we've been watching The Incredibles, Bolts, um, and if you viewers haven't seen The Incredibles 2 or 1 or, or Bolt, go check that out because The Incredibles 2 is on Netflix and those two shows that I just explained are on Disney+. Plus. Oh, and what about that other movie we watched where uh, the people who have, like, all the different feelings? What's oh, yeah, called? Togo? No, no, uh, uh, Inside Out. Oh, is, yeah, is Inside Out. Is that what it's out. called? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what it's called. What did you think about that movie? I mean, maybe you could share with, with, with so our fans. So, Inside Out's kind of, like, cool and sad at the same time because it's where when, where this red guy, green guy, green girl, and this purple guy... Anger messes it all up by making this girl, by making this girl try to go back back where where she lo- likes her life and then and then that's where sadness comes in and saves well, we the wanna, day. We don't want to we don't want to spoil the, the the movie for people who haven't seen it yet. Okay. So you know, but I mean, it was a pretty good movie, though, right? Yeah, it was a pretty good movie. So we're gonna we're gonna be planning on watching a few other awesome movies mm-hmm. during this time while we're in the yep. house and. Um, yep. 
I look forward to it. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying your time inside. And, of course, always mm-hmm. be safe. Take it yep. very serious. I hope you guys mm-hmm. are washing your hands. Make sure you're not touching your face. Yep. Um, and make sure you're doing your schoolwork. If you yep. have work, please make sure you are following up with your take-home packets or yep. anything else, yep. schoolwork you yep. might have. Yep. 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 Um, and I... Uh, I think that's it. I don't have anything else to share with our audience. Um, Okay. Hey, make sure you go and follow Free Lunch everywhere. Free Lunch on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Free Lunch. And make sure you go follow the YouTube channel. You can subscribe there at The Real Free. Mm -hmm. Um, You're like yepping, yepping, and mm -hmm, you're interrupting everything I'm saying, bro. Sorry. Sorry. And I think that's about it. I mean, I'll let you have the last word for the audience. What do you... Mm. How do you want to say goodbye to everybody? I don't know. I, I'm all talked out. He's all talked out. All right. Till next time, guys. See ya. See ya. Peace. Nice.